What's going on guys, Joey here with DaVinci Trades. In this video, we'll be going over BlockFi, how to set up your account, buy Bitcoin, and go over the BlockFi credit card, which I think is very cool because you can use it like any other card and earn 3.5% back in Bitcoin with every purchase. You can find more how-to videos on our channel along with some of the latest crypto news. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Also, check out the links in the description below to download BlockFi and get up to $250 on your first deposit. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure we have the BlockFi app installed. So if you haven't done that already, go ahead and pause the video, go to the App Store, and download the BlockFi app. Since we don't have an account yet, we're going to go down to the bottom and hit sign up. Go ahead and fill out this information, create a password, and underneath the referral code, type in PARTNER250. Navigate to the inbox of the email that you provided so you can verify your email. Email has been verified, and we'll switch back over to the app. Go to the bottom and click, I have already verified my email. Go ahead and log in. Alrighty, so you signed up for BlockFi, congratulations. Now from here, we're gonna have to create a profile and verify your identity. So please make sure you have a state issued ID, such as a driver's license. Navigate to the bottom and press let's go. From here, all the information that you're about to input on the next few screens needs to match the same info that's on your ID. Select your country of residence, Fill out your zip code, fill out your address, the city, and the state. Fill out your cell phone number, enter your date of birth, and input your social security number. They'll ask you for your primary source of income. They need this information because it is required by the Securities Exchange Commission. Again, for regulation purposes, they'll ask you how much crypto you think you'll add to your account each month. Continue through the next two slides and you'll have created your profile. The next step is to verify your identity. You'll come to a white screen and on the bottom, click Get Started. Your phone number should auto-populate. Enter the verification code that was sent to your mobile device. And again, on this next page, make sure that all this information matches the information on your driver's license. After you put in that information, now we'll have to upload a photo ID. You can use a driver's license, a passport, a passport card, permanent resident card, a state ID, or a work permit. For today, I'm going to be using a driver's license. Go ahead and allow camera access for the app. Press OK. And from here, you're going to take a clear picture of the front of your driver's license. And then they'll begin processing and verifying your government ID. Now, if that process is denied, no worries. You may just need to find some better lighting to take another photo of the front and back of your ID. Moving on, you'll need to take a selfie so they can verify you with your ID. After you take the photo, we can wait a couple seconds. And congratulations, you're done. Thanks for verifying your identity. Go to the bottom and click done. Now you should end up at the welcome screen for BlockFi, but if it logs you out, just go ahead and log back in. Now on the welcome screen, this is your BlockFi wallet. You can see your total asset value at the top. And in the middle, it says the BlockFi wallet is your new default account where all your new assets are stored. The wallet is a non-interest bearing account that safeguards your assets while you buy, sell, and store crypto and borrow funds. Now, if you're in the US, unfortunately, you will not be able to take advantage of the interest bearing account. However, they are working on it. Scrolling down, you'll see that you have an invitation to apply to the BlockFi Bitcoins rewards card. This is my favorite feature about BlockFi. There's no annual fee for this card, no transaction fees, and you earn 3.5% back in crypto during your first three months. After the introductory period, you'll earn 1.5% back in crypto on every purchase. If you have an annual spend of over $50,000, you'll earn 2% back in crypto. If you get approved for the credit card and you're trading on BlockFi, you'll get a quarter of a percent back in Bitcoin on all your eligible trades. You can also refer a friend, and if they get approved, you can get $30 in Bitcoin. Now, if you're worried about a hard pull on your credit report, no problem here. The pre-approval process to see if you qualify for a BlockFi credit card will not impact your credit score. This is going to be a soft pull. I will say that you do have to have a decent credit score of around 680 in order to get pre-approved for this card. You can use this card anywhere in the U.S. and you can also change the cryptocurrency that you get paid out in. Now, keep in mind that you will only be able to get paid out in one cryptocurrency at a time. There is no option for getting paid out in multiple cryptocurrencies at once. Now in the app where it says markets, you can see the current price for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, and Litecoin. If we go to view all, we'll see that at the moment, BlockFi offers Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, Litecoin, Chainlink, and a few other cryptocurrencies that are well known. 
If you're a newer investor, I highly recommend sticking with Bitcoin and Ethereum for now due to the large amount of liquidity that is in these cryptocurrencies as well as the fact that they are the most well established. Moving on back to the main page, you have the option to apply for a loan backed by your crypto. So let's say you own $50,000 worth of Bitcoin, you can actually get a loan that is backed by your cryptocurrency. If this is something that you would want to do in the future, then more than likely you could get a 22,500 USD loan amount for your $50,000 in Bitcoin. You can also share BlockFi with your friends and earn crypto when they fund an account. All right, so we got some of the basics out of the way, but let's go ahead and fund your BlockFi wallet so you can get started investing in cryptocurrency. Make sure you're in the app and click fund with crypto or USD. Now from here, you can do a bank transfer, you can do a wire transfer or a crypto transfer. If you're a newer investor, you're probably going to go with the bank transfer. On the other side, let's say you have a friend that would like to send you some cryptocurrency, maybe for your birthday or something like that. So you click the bottom where it says crypto transfer and whatever cryptocurrency they'd like to send you, go ahead and click it. So let's say, for instance, your friend wants to send you Bitcoin. Click Bitcoin and on the bottom, you'll see that it says this address can only receive Bitcoin. Now keep that in mind. Click I understand. Now this is your Bitcoin wallet address. The only cryptocurrency that this wallet address can receive is Bitcoin. If your friend tries to send you any other cryptocurrency except Bitcoin to this wallet address, it's likely going to get lost. There are different wallet addresses for each cryptocurrency that are in your BlockFi wallet. Now what you'll do is copy this address and give it over to your friend. And what they'll do is put it in their sending side on their app and they'll go ahead and use this to send you over your Bitcoin. Now if you don't have any super cool friends that want to send you some cryptocurrency, you're going to have to set up an ACH bank transfer. So come back to this page and click bank transfer. Click add bank account and we're going to use plaid to connect to your account. Click continue. Choose the bank that you're going to be using. Click continue again and it'll bring you to your preferred bank's website. You'll likely have to go through a two-factor authentication process with the phone number or email that's linked to your bank account. Go ahead and click share my data. Select your account and awesome job. You're doing great. Now you're one step closer to investing in your cryptocurrency. Go to continue. All right, so navigate to the main page of your BlockFi account. You'll see that you have a balance of zero and zero active crypto balances. So all you have to do, scroll down, go to Bitcoin, and you can type in any amount you like here. There is a minimum of $20, so we'll go ahead and put in $20. Click review, and then check the box that authorizes BlockFi to debit your bank account. Click confirm. And all right, congratulations, you bought some Bitcoin. Hit continue. We can scroll up, and it'll tell us we have one active crypto balance of $19.74 in Bitcoin. Now let's say you want to convert your Bitcoin over to another cryptocurrency such as Ethereum. Super easy. Click your active crypto balance, click Bitcoin, click buy and sell, click the sell side, and then click Bitcoin. Click the buy side, and then click Ethereum. For the sake of this video, we'll go ahead and put in $15. Click review, click confirm, and it's that easy. As you can see, we just converted some Bitcoin over to Ethereum. Click continue, go back to the main page, now you can see you have two active crypto balances. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you like how-to crypto content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and check out the links in the description below. We'll see you next time on DaVinci Trades. Thank you.